The Refugee Resettlement Program is a program funded by the Department of State, the Office of ORR. And our headquarters, uh, Catholic Charities headquarters, is in Washington, D.C. It's the United States Council of Catholic Bishops. The Refugee Resettlement Program is a federal program that was signed into law 30 years ago. Each year, Congress and the President decides how many refugees the United States can assist. Aquí en los Estados Unidos, muy lindo, muy rico, muy bello, mucho respeto, mucha alegría y mucha libertad. Catholic Charities has offices all over the United States, so each office does their own survey based on the number they think they can receive that year. Last year, we, we resettled 125 refugees, but then we also assist asylees and parolees and victims of trafficking. So the number of individuals we serve in the office is quite large. So this is our 100, uh, 102, and 103 level class. Um, we started this be to bring back some of our older clients who are not learning English well. So you can now they have this opportunity to study in a safe environment here. Our office has grown quite a bit in the past couple years. This is the office of our job-related services. And here is, this is uh, Shannon. Uh, Shannon Cutler, and she is the manager of, of our Power Grant, which is parishes organized to welcome okay. refugees. One thing I wanted to share, you can see that uh, these are all staff members now, so we're really happy. We've gone from a very small program about four years ago, which was mostly family reunification, to a staff of 12. This is sort of the Refugee Central. Without this office, we don't have any other programs because they're all built on this. We have three full-time caseworkers. This is the uh, Immigration Services and the Legalization Program, and they help with uh, necessary paperwork and things for people to be on the path for an EAD and citizenship, right? Uh, we have an Integration Assistance Program now. We have a job developer, we have an admin person, and we also have three refugees on staff. And this is um, Rachel Obal. She is uh, our senior case manager for the Integration Assistance Program, uh, originally from Sudan, multilingual office. This is our classroom where we're conducting orientation now. And this is Om Mishra. Um, he is teaching our orientation classes this week in Nepali. This is a major feat for our office. This is a closet that was put together by our volunteers. All of the items in here were um, sourced by volunteers. People apply to become refugees with the UNHCR, and that means that they were either, uh, they were victims of persecution somehow, be it political or religious. We will agree to take a family. About two months later, we'll get a first arrival notice for them. There's going to be a two-year-old little boy coming in. So I was really excited this time to buy juice. Extra set of bed sheets. Um, some more for the baby's bed. Now they put a brand new refrigerator in here. They take a loan from the IOM for their, for their travel here, and they have to pay it back. The IOM will facilitate the purchase of their tickets and everything um, on the overseas side. And then once they get to the U.S., that's when we take over. Hello, Meng Tan. Huh? Meng Tan, Wait, let me see your bag. Yes, Meng Du Tan. Meng Du Tan. Hi, yes. how are you? Oh, are you sweet? Yes. I'm Barbara. Oh, yes. Hello, yes. nice to meet you. Hello. Good to meet you. Welcome to Jacksonville, Florida. You've had a long flight today, haven't you? I know. I'm so glad that you're here. Refugees are legal resident aliens when they arrive in the U.S. So when we get that first arrival notice, we start to look for apartments for them. Yes, this is your house now something on the bus line, something near a grocery store. We will furnish that apartment with everything that's required and more. You probably will cook your own chicken, but this was something that is already cooked and it's safe to eat. And we'll purchase food right before they arrive to fill up the refrigerator. Taste. Ah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Andy, thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So part of the welcome wagon.
you know, to try to make their apartment as appealing to them as possible. Wow, very nice. Okay. And you wait for a little while and then feel it will be, it's warm. Yeah. We try to, to assist them in every way we can. You're supposed to try to meet their needs as much as you can so that they can adjust quickly. Socks for you and underwear for yeah. you and your husband. Oh, yeah. Okay. As long as there are dictators in the world, as long as there are wars and disasters, there will always be refugees. We offer people a chance at a new life here. Our country, our nation decides how many refugees we're going to be able to help. And it's a moral obligation for us to take individuals who are suffering.